very warm good morning to all of you and welcome back in our biology session so in the biology session we are discussing our lesson that is transportation in animals and plants so up till now we have discussed about the transportation in the animals we have discussed about the excretory system and now we have reached to the last point from the lesson now today we will discuss about the transport of substances in plants means we will discuss that how the substances are getting transported in a plant with the help of the different vessels okay or how we can exactly the leaves transfer the food and how the root transfers the water to the all the parts of the leaves or to the all the leaves which are present on the plant so my dear students if you remember that in the lesson first that is in the nutrition in plants we have discussed about that how the plants are making their own food okay so for that what they are doing they are taking the water and the minerals through the roots with the help of the roots they are they are taking the water and minerals from the soil with the help of the roots and then water is getting transported to the different leaves which are arranged on the different branches so that leaves use their water and minerals with the help of the carbon dioxide what they are doing they are making their own food in the form of glucose and that process is called as what photosynthesis okay so once the food is get prepared then that food is get utilized okay so that food is get break down and then that food is get release the energy but for that break down of the food requires the oxygen and that process is only called as what respiration that we have seen in our previous lesson that is in the respiration in organisms okay so see plants are doing the photosynthesis process they are doing their own food they need to transport it after that whatever the food they have made then that it is necessary to transport to the different parts of the plant or to the each and every cell which is present in a plant okay but to make the food they require the water which is necessary to carry from the root to the different parts of the leaves whatever the food get prepared by the leaves that is also necessary to transport to the different parts of a plant but how this transportation is happen how exactly the plants are carrying all these different things there are the any vessels there is any tube structure there are any pipe structures are present then yes the answer is what yes there are the certain pipe structures are present there are the certain vessels are present which helps to transport all these different things into the plant okay so let discuss one by one first we will discuss that how the plant transport water and minerals okay how the plants transport the water and minerals that is what transport of water and minerals so as we know roots of the plants are inside the ground or they are in the soil and from the soils they absorbs the water or they try to absorb the maximum water with the help of the root hair okay so with the help of this root hair these roots are having so many small small fiber like root hair which helps to enhance or which helps to cover the maximum area and to absorb the more and more water with the rain in from the soil okay so with the help of this root hair the plants can absorb the maximum water from the soil with the help of the osmosis process this osmosis process already we have seen or we have discussed in our lesson number 1 again i will repeat what is meant by the osmosis process so the movement of a liquid molecule or the movement of a water molecules from higher concentration to lower concentration the movement of water molecules from higher concentration to the lower concentration through the semi permeable membrane that process is called as what osmosis semi permeable membrane is what is there is a one membrane okay which doesn't allow the entry for all the substance only selected substance are passes through that membrane okay so this is about what osmosis so with the help of the osmosis process roots absorbs the water and this absorbed water then transport to the different leaves which are arranged on the branches of the trees with the help of the one vascular one pipe like structure or one vessel and the name of that vessel is what xylem okay or one vascular 
bundles are the vascular tissues are there and the name of that vascular bundle it is called as what xylem okay so this xylem having the pipe like structures okay these xylems are spread all over in the plants and it helps to uh, transport the absorbed water from the root to the different parts of the plant or to the different leaves on the plants okay so the xylem helps to connect the leaves to the root okay the xylem helps to connect the leaves to the roots with the help of the pipe like structure or along with this pipe like structure which runs through the stem and different branches okay so this while xylem tissues runs through the stem it runs through the branches and it runs through the root also okay so with the help of the xylem or we can say that the xylem forms the channels okay so many channels it forms and it connects to each other and in this way with the help of that xylem channel the leaves are getting connected to the roots so whatever the absorb water is there from the root it is getting transferred to the leaves with the help of the xylem vessels or the with the help of the xylem vascular tissue okay so see here i am showing this arrow with the blue color it is going from the up okay means it carries the water from the root to the upper portion of the tree with the help of the osmosis process and with the help of the xylem vessels okay so next one if once the water goes up it doesn't comes down that much power is there or that much suction pull is there okay so once it get up it doesn't comes down okay now the next one is saying now the water reaches to the leaves you starting to do the photosynthesis process they have made the food now it is necessary to transport that prepared food into the each and every cell so that cell we use that food they break down that food and then they release the energy and that energy we can utilize by the plants for their further activities but now who will transport that food so for the transportation of the food which is made by the leaves whatever the food is made by the leaves that food get transported to the different parts of a plant with the help of the another one vascular tissue and the name of that vascular tissue is what phloem okay with the help of the phloem the whatever the food has prepared by the leaf all these food is get transported to the different parts of a plant with the help of this phloem vascular tissue or this phloem tissue what is my tissue the group of the cell it is called as what tissue so in this way transportation of the food in the plant is takes place with the help of this phloem and the transportation of the water is takes place to the xylem okay so one more new concept for you that is what translocation now what is mean by translocation so the transfer of food prepared food the transfer of the prepared food from the leaves to other parts of plant okay so the transfer or the transportation of the food from the leaves who prepares the food leaves okay so the transportation of uh, prepared food from the leaves to the other parts of plant it is called as what translocation that process is called as what translocation okay so in this way with the help of the xylem and the phloem the water and the food respectively get transported in the plant okay so it is very important to keep in the mind so water get transported with the help of the xylem and the food food get transported with the help of the phloem f f you can keep in the mind so you will not get confused okay xylem water phloem food okay so in this way with the help of the xylem and the phloem these are the two vascular tissue which helps to transport the water and the minerals the uh, water minerals and food into the plants okay so for this we are having one activity that is activity number 11.3 that we will see in this video osmosis is the process by which fluids move from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration through a semi permeable membrane osmosis occurs due to the free energy of the solvent molecule in two regions the free energy of the solvent of pure water 
is greater as compared to that present in the solution. So when osmosis occurs, the solvent moves from a region of its high free energy to a region of its low free energy through a semi-permeable membrane. To do the experiment we require a large potato without peel, knife, 20% sugar solution, petri dish, distilled water, pins and a tile. Procedure Take a potato from the watch glass and place it on the tile. Take a knife and cut both ends of the potato to make it flat. Using the knife, make a cavity in the center of the potato from the flat side almost up to the bottom. Take a beaker containing distilled water and pour the petri dish half full of distilled water. Now, place the potato on the petri dish that is half full of water. Take the beaker containing sugar solution and fill half of the cavity of the potato with 20% sugar solution. Mark the level of sugar solution in the cavity with the help of a pin. The potato now functions as an osmometer. Leave the osmometer undisturbed for about 2 hours. Mark the rise in the level of sugar solution in the cavity with another pin. Observation The level of sugar solution in the potato cavity rises after some time due to the entry of water into the sugar solution through selectively permeable membrane of the cells of the potato. Conclusion The movement of water from the petri dish to the potato cavity occurs because of the difference in the concentration of solvent molecules in the two regions, sugar solution in the potato cavity and pure water in the petri dish.
and transfer of food in the plants with the help of the xylem and the phloem tissues. Okay. So here we will stop. Here we have completed our lesson. Here we will stop. We will meet in the next video with the next point. And for today, thank you.